Welcome to Salem Lions News Network live stream in association with IHSAA TV and brought to you by the generous grants of Ace Hardware of Salem, Hoosier Uplands, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, and the Washington County Community Foundation from Brooks Memorial Stadium. This is the Washington County Community Foundation pregame show. The dynamic the dynamic duo is back. Well, sort of. I'm Jacob and my trusty com color commentator, like normal, the man, the myth, the legend, Carson. Josh is our cameraman tonight, and the OG legend of SLNN, Holden, is the understa understudies of Braden and Owen are running the show. Thanks for everyone uh, for setting up the live stream in our new location away from home, and our cracked research team breaking down the game for us. So tonight is a little different. We get the privilege of not only bringing out, bringing our Salem Lions versus Eastern Musketeers game to you, but also game one tonight between the Borden Braves and the West Washington Senators. The Braves entered the contest with a three and two record, w with wins against Charles and Lanesville. They are averaging 58 points per game and only giving up 50, 51.2 points per game. They are coached by. They are coached by coaching great Doc Nash, who has a 207 and 151 record in his 16th at his at school. The West Washington Senators come into the game with a 0 and 4 record. They have been in every game they have played and were 2.1 seconds away from defeating the Lions. They are averaging 41 points per game, while giving up 51 points per game. They are coached by fourth-year head coach. Clayton Sullivan. He currently has a 39-40 record at West Washington. This this should be a good good matchup between these two squads, and we will have the up up to the up to minute stats for you thought throughout the game. This has been the Washington County Community Foundation Foundation pregame show. Thanks again for our local businesses that gave us grants to bring you this live action. Ace Hardware of Salem, Hoosier Uplands, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, and the Washington County Community Foundation. And we'll be back to you right after this short commercial break. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Bob Lovell. This is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. We call it the Commissioner's Corner. And Commissioner, as we sit here, beautiful sunny day in Indiana, a little brisk, but still great to be a Hoosier. We're about seven weeks away from playing winter sports championships. We've got you know, wrestling on the 29th of January, swimming on the 3rd of February, girls basketball on the 1st of February. It's when those tournaments begin. That, that, having said that, I can't believe what I just said. Isn't that amazing? You know, we just we just wrapped up a great right, fall season right. here. Uh, had a little turkey, played a little football, and then we turned right around. and And, and teams have been they've been going at it for several weeks now. And, right. Uh, you know, now they're they're looking at uh, really in the, they're starting the tune up time. They're starting to make sure that they get <laughs> things right with their team, and you know, getting in that tip top shape, and they're ready to 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 get into this tournament season in seven short weeks for some folks. I can tell you, last weekend on Indiana Sports Talk, uh, if uh, everyone understands, I feel feel like I have the the single best job in sports. I have the opportunity to talk about high school and college sports. But Paul, most of the people I talked to, especially on the media side, all commented when they after games last weekend about the crowds and the size of the crowds. And I think we talked about Thanksgiving and being grateful for things. And I truly think people, kids, moms, dads, fans, grandmothers, grandfathers, everybody's thankful to be able to go watch games right now. They are. And, you know, it's again, and people have, and we've talked about this a lot, but I think it's always something that we have to celebrate is people missed high school sports and oh, being yeah. able to get back out. 
Uh, I was, was with some officials this last weekend in northeast Indiana talking to them about, you know, just their experiences this year. And and they were just excited about being in the gym. They love the atmosphere, mm-hmm. the noise of the game. And uh, a couple of them even remarked that coach that was barking at them on the sideline <laughs> wasn't quite as loud this year. <laughs> that noise was drowned out a little bit. Well, it's just, I think it's amazing the resiliency that the kids have. You know, they played hard all year long, crowd, no crowd. They're just going to, they're going to hoop. They're just going to do what they do, which is great. It's great to be a kid. But, you know, you and I have talked about this before. Most, we're fortunate. Most of the games we have scheduled have been played. And we have some occasional situations with COVID. But for the most part, games that are scheduled end up getting played. They do, and that's just a tribute back to our schools. Um, they do a phenomenal job of educating their kids, educating their communities, and people know what they need to do to be safe. And uh, and that's what folks are doing, and they just continue to play. And, you know, it's just such a great thing because every time a kid, every time a student athlete steps on a floor, steps in a practice gym, steps in a, or swims in a mm-hmm. pool, they're with great mentors. People are teaching them about life uh, in addition to, to learning how to swim or wrestle and you know they're just they're, it's it's a growth period for all of us we had it when we were in high school and these kids need to experience that same time in life to to develop them into great community contributors in the future he's paul knighting he's the commissioner of the ihsaa and paul as i mentioned you know seven weeks away from tournaments you and the staff are already feverishly starting to make plans and get venues ready and start to work on things before we know it we'll have the pairing shows for, for those sports and uh the other thing we always remind people get out people's five dollar admission tickets to games are what helps fund these endeavors for high school kids all around our state that's exactly right. That ticket money counts. Most of our schools, when it comes to uniforms and travel and equipment for the game, those are all covered uh, by the gate receipts. They're not receiving tax dollars to, to cover those incidentals that are around the participation. And schools went through a period of time that it, financially it was tough for them last year, and they appreciate every time somebody comes in and, and pays their $5 to watch a game. It goes back to the kids directly and allows them to play. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back! This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. I'm Matt Wolford, President of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood.
Alrighty, and we just went to tip off. It is West Washington's ball. Number 22 has it for West Washington. He's gonna get number 12 back to 22. Pass to five, five. Looks like he's gonna look inside. Get it to number 12, back out to one, to 22. 22 is gonna dribble. It looks like he's going to drive, pass out to 12, get to the middle, to 20. He's going to shoot the two. It's going to bounce around. It's going to be good. Number four is going to bring it up the ball or up the court for uh, Borden. Four passes to 24. 24 is going to look in. He's going to go in. He's going to take the shot, and it's good. Two points. Number 22 has it for the centers. Pass it to one. Back to five. We're gonna get 20, 20 with the three. It's gonna be good. Number 24 is gonna bring it up the court for the Braves. Pass to number three. Three throws it into 33. Comes into four off the backboard for a layup and that is good. Number 22 has it. Pass a five to 20 to 12. He's going to get down in the post at 20. It's going to be out of bounds. Be Braves ball. Yeah, that's the one I was telling you he was doing good last, like when we played him last, or when we played West Washington, he was doing really good. Be 24, pass it to 33. 33 to three and three to 24. Coming under the goal, and that'll be out of bounds. Nope. What'd they call that? Maybe it was out of bounds. Look, no, it looked like they called a foul. Yes, yes, it did. And that was our computer guy asking me a question I was answering. Defense! 
Be number 24, passing it to 11. Passing it into 33. 33 shoots to 11. 11 puts it up, and that is good for a three pointer for the Braves. It's going to put Borden in the lead. 22 with the ball. He's going to drive in, kick out to the corner, back to 12. Five gets it again. Looks like he's going to drive in the corner, 12 to 20 in the post. He's going to shoot, and he's going to get it. two points. 24 brings it up. Passes it to 11. He takes the three immediately. Just misses it. That'll be out of bounds on number 12, West Washington. Something to point out. West Washington has a young team. Yes, they do. They have Very young. a lot of young players. Only one senior on the varsity roster. You got to look at the bright side. If you can build this team, you won't lose a whole lot throughout the next two years. Yep. 24 has the ball. He passes it to 21. 21 cuts in, passes it back out to 11. 11 Pat comes in and misses the layup. 22 with the ball here for West Washington. Gives it 20 back to one. Swing it 22. Twenty-two looks like he's going to drive, give him a little move, shoots it. He's going to miss it. Twenty-one with the ball, he shoots, he misses. Thirty-three with the putback. Be a point for the Braves. Twenty-two here for the Senators. Bring it up. It looks like it'll be a foul. 22 try to get into the post. It'll be a foul. It'll be on number three for the Braves. Number 15 checks in for number one. It's going to give both teams their first foul. It's going to give both teams the first foul. 12 tries to get to the post. Can't get it there. Gives it 22, back to 20, to 22. 22 is going to drive, and they'll call it a travel. Pass into 24. 24 is bringing it up the right side. 21 will pass it to 35. That'll go to 11. 11 fakes a shot, puts it to 35, and he takes the shot for the three, and he misses. 22 with the ball, passes it to five. Five sets up for the three, he'll let it fly, no good. Five for the rebound, 20 has it. Back out to 15, he'll shoot the two, it's gonna be good. That's Number 20 for the, the Senators really showed his height there. Jumped yeah. up to get that rebound. 21 takes it in, shoots it, and that'll be good. He wasn't going to wait on any of his teammates that time. He just put it in himself. Yep. 22 for the Senators has the ball here. <laughs> 22 with the ball, passes 15. And it's going to be a charge. Yeah, number 22 for the Senators. <laughs> number 22 will commit the charge. Number 20 seems to be, you know, super strong in the post, but he just gave up an opportunity to shoot. So mm -hmm. I don't know if he's not a shooter for them or not. I believe he is. I don't know what happened. Number three will pass it into 24. He's coming back up the right side. It'll be a foul on the Braves. Number 11. Number 11. That'll be his first. That'll be his first. Number 22 has team the ball second. for the Senators. That's the team's second, isn't it? Correct? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot we had a scoreboard to look, like, look at. Yeah. Number five with the ball here. Pass it in the 20. Won't get it there. 24. Goes up for the three. Just misses it. 20 with the rebound, passes the 24. Oh yeah.
Little mess up there by West Washington. 24 brings it in. Just misses his shot, and he needed to, he needs some backup on that play. 22 with the ball, pass it to 24. 24 with the shot, it'll be good. Yeah. Aggressive. 35 passes it to three. Three drives in, tosses it back out to 21. And 21 will drive in, pass it out to 35. That's up for the three, and it is good by the Braves. 22 with the ball here. Both teams seem exhausted in just the first couple minutes of play. Yeah. And five has it, pass to 15. 20 will get it in the post. He'll shoot the two, won't get it. He could have had a hand on that, but I don't know. Just I don't think he got it off right. Yeah. Might have just came off wrong. That's 24 driving it up into the paint. Just misses it right in the front of the goal. Number 20 has it. Pass to the 15, back to 20. To 22. 22 would drive. He'll shoot the two. It'll be good. Banking that one in. Board three. 14, Senators 13. 24 passes to two. Two looks like he's trying to drive in. Passes to 21. 21 drives in, takes a shot, and it is good. And he's going to get fouled on it. So. He'll go to the line to shoot one. Get more. Seems like Borden forgot that. 21 got fouled. He is taking two free throws, I believe. First basket is not good. It's Senator's ball. That'll be a turnover. 35 has the ball. Passes it to 21. He drives in, passes it to 22. There's some fast passing there. 22. Back to the middle of the court. He's getting, he's getting deep. 21's just holding on to that ball and dwindling down the clock. I was about to say, I think they're running down the clock. Oh yeah, they're trying to get them with this quarter. Get over there to the bench, take a nice drink of some water. And it's good. Yes. 21 will be back at the line. Another and one from 21. Fouls on West Washington's number three, James Jackson Cameron. That will be his first, team's fourth. Nash will be at the line shooting one. That's number 21, Nash at the line. Doesn't get it, but 22 gets the rebound. Then what happened there? Yes. Now it's West Washington's ball. With a minute sec six left, or a second and six to go. Apparently number 22 fouled to get that rebound. And uh, that's why he didn't get anything there. Uh, okay, I see. Maybe his first foul of the night. Yeah, there was really nothing you could do there. Nope, good first quarter, fast, a lot of fouls. We're going to see some double bonus, maybe some bonus here in the next yeah. quarter. Anything to say, Carson? No, nah, the score, uh, who's home and who's away? Home is going to be Braves. Gordon and okay. Senators. Braves 18, Senators 13. We'll be back after this short commercial break. You're good at keeping the car clean. Good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. 
fans. I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSA. Floor mic on. Okay. Um, I'm going to give a quick rundown of the stats. And we are back after that first quarter and a little break after uh, that. Right now, your leading point scores for the Senators is going to be number 20. And for the Braves is going to be number 21, Nash. And there's a shot by 24, Mason Jones. Three, Three point. point is good. Um, nope. Some other big important stats right now, um, turnovers. Right now, the Senators have turned the ball over seven times. And the Borden Braves have only turned that over twice. Also looking, um, the Senators are doing a fantastic job at their defensive rebounds, while the Borden Braves just aren't. They only have two compared to the Senators' seven. That was a wicked pass there by Mason. Did you, did you guys see that? I did. It's better. Mason definitely seems to be the strong suit of the uh, Borden's offense, which is, again, number 24. Yeah, most definitely. An old player for the Salem Lions. Has a shot by 20 or 35. That was no good. Number 12 has it. He passes a five. Five will bring it up for the Senators. Pass 24 to 15. Five has the ball. Tries to get number 12. It'll be denied. It'll be another turnover there. 33 goes up for the layup. Almost lays it in the rim. But he got it. He got it. Be it timeout, West Washington. Braves 23, Seniors 13. We'll be back after this short commercial break. It's 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon. You have two choices. Option one, take two nanoseconds to reach over and put on your seatbelt. Or option two, decide it's too much work for a Saturday and don't put on your seatbelt. As the seatbelt alarm continues to sing the song of its people, you roll your eyes. You're just going down the block, you'll be fine. You take a turn to the left and that's when you see it. Just wear your seatbelt. It's an easy way to save your own life. The Indiana Criminal Justice Institute wants to remind you that choices matter. Click it to live it. Hey Indiana, let's clear the air about vaping. Glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just... Yeah, we have no talent. <laughs> Where it's at. Okay, back to the action. Three, two, one. Five. All right. Number 20 has it for the Senators. It'll go out of bounds. Stay with the Senators, though. Yep, number three is going to knock it out of his hands, but I'm going to kind of force it all the way out. Yeah, that's kind of what you want to focus on not doing when you want to steal the ball. 20 passing it in for the Senators. I thought he was going to get a five second for a sec for a minute. No, oh, shoot. Number 20 to 22. Kind of fell asleep there. <laughs> Be stolen by the boy in Braves. 21 has it. He'll Fast just lay that 21. one in. Yeah, he'll just lay that one in. Number 22 has it. He'll pass it 12. 12 tries to get to him post. 24, he will. 24 will lose the ball. That'll be a turnover and Braves ball. 21 passes to 24. He'll drive it in, pass it back out. Pass it in, actually. And four lays it in the goal. Be timeout, West Washington. Braves 27, Senators 13. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student-athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today.
for that update. No, thank God. Twenty-two with the ball, passes to twelve. Bo Braves putting some pressure on them. Back to twelve to three to twenty. Come across the half court. It will be a foul. Foul on twenty-one. Fouls on board number twenty-one, Kaysom Nash. That's his first team. Beyond twenty-one. His first team's fourth. Number twelve for the Sooners will take it out. He'll pass to twenty twenty-two. To tw 20 to 3, back to 22. The screen by 12. We'll do a little spin move. Nice shot. That's good for two points. Nice 24, Mason Jones has the ball, shoots up a three, and it is good for the Braves. Number 12 has it, passes 22. to 22, 22 a drive pass it 12 foot three, be no good. And that's a foul, I believe on West Washington. It'll be a three, foul on three. His second, team's fifth. Number one checks in for number 15. It'll be number 24, bringing it back down the court. Passes it to 21, and 21 takes the shot. Bounces off the front of the rim. 22 with the ball. He'll be moving on this. He'll jump stop. Get it blocked from behind. Great block there by Borden. Yeah. They didn't call a charge on that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Number fifth, number three has it. To number twenty, it will fight back to twelve. He'll miss the layup. Number twenty-four puts up the three and it is not good. Number three with the rebound passes it to twenty-two. Twenty-two will take it. He'll shoot the layup. It'll be no good. Twenty-four with the rebound and a feisty one at that. 21, bring it in, and that will be not good. Number 20 with the ball here. To 22, back to one, to 22. 22 with the three, be no good. 24, passing it to three. Three's on a fast break. Oh, and they got the rebound. 24 with the ball. Passing it to three. Three passes it out. Back to 11. 11 drives in, passes it back out. Three drives in, gives it to 21. A shot by number 11 for a three, and it is no good, but they have the rebound back. That was almost a travel. Twenty-four drives it in, pass it back out to twenty-one. They're being very cautious right now with their shots. Three has the ball. Twenty-four wants to drive in, and he takes the shot. 
And we got the... I believe we got the rebound back. I know there was a foul involved. I think. Never mind. I cannot believe they didn't call a foul on that. Be a jump ball, the Sooners ball. Number 24 checks in for 22 for the Sooners. To number five, Brace puts pressure on him. The Sooners, 24 to one to 20. Back to one to five. One will take the two, it'll be good. 24 brings it down, passes the three. He's taking wide shots, or passes. There's the shot, foul on the shot. Fouls on West Washington, number 20, Lane Hepler. That's his first, team six. That's, that'll be six number fouls 11, already in the, the line, just in the second half. Range. First one will be good. Second period, first half. Second one will be good. Both those will be good by number 11 for the Braves. Number five has it. To number one. Back to 24. To one. To three. 24 to five. Tried to get in post to number one. It'll be out of bounds. Twenty four bringing the ball off the court. Passing it to thirty five. Thirty five going to drive in. Takes a shot. It was just off. There'll be a foul. Three without rebound. There'll be a foul. It looks like on the Braves. 30, 35, yeah. Fouls are pretty uh, equal in this game for both teams. Being number 24 has it. Pass the three to 24. Back to 20. 20 to one. One will take it all the way. He'll get the layup. Number 11 coming in, driving in hard. It'll be a blocking foul. And knock number 20 for the centers down on the ground. That'll be a blocking foul on the centers. So the board and Braves will go to the line to shoot two. The first one was good. For what I've seen so far, he's a very solid free throw shooter. And the second one was good. That's two points for the Braves. Number five has to pass a one. One will drive in. Get knocked out, so it'll be Sinner's ball still. With 32.1 seconds left in the second quarter, it'll be Braves 34, Sinner's 19. <laughs> 24 has it past the 30, I mean 20. 20 with the two will be no good. That's 35 getting that rebound. 11 passes at 24. Trying to run down the clock. There's the screen. Let's see what he's got. Shot from the corner. And it is no good. Puts it back up and it's in for the two points. 
That'll be halftime. We got Boyden Braves, 36 centers, 19. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Welcome back to High School Sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. Hi, I'm Matt Wolfer, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. 
I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs>
Yeah, I think taking time on their shots will just that'll pretty well wrap them up. Their defense yeah. is great. Um, but Borden, they probably need to cut down some of their fouls. They've done a couple, not nearly as much as the Senators. But um, I think if they keep those under control and for the Senator, you know what you talked about, the turnovers and fouls, keep those under control, and I think we could have a pretty close ball game. I think we could too. All right, and I think this wraps up the halftime report here. And we're going to go back to the game here. Borden Braves with the ball. Number three bringing it up the court. Passing it to 24, and 24 is going to trip on number one's ankles, it appears. Number one, Mason Cox. That's his second, first for the team in the second half. Hey, what you see doing, 24 is going to pass it into 11. 11 passes to 24. Passes back to 11. 11. Well, I thought he was going to drive in. Twenty-four is going to pass to thirty-three, and eleven is going to put it up for the shot for the layup, and it was good. Number twenty-two for the centers has it. He's going to pass it twenty. Twenty looks like he's going to drive, and he'll get the two points. Twenty-four is going to rocket that down the court to twenty-one. Three is going to put it up for the three, and it is not good. Number five with the rebound here. But he'll have it for the Senators to number 12. He'll shoot the three, he'll miss. 24 is bringing it up the court. He's gonna pass it 21. 21 puts the three up and that is no good. We've got Brownstown's ball. Borden, Brownstown you mean? Or Borden, not Brownstown. I had a tongue twister, my bad. Well, I put my foot in my mouth. Uh, putting your foot in your mouth means you said something you didn't mean to say. Oh. <laughs> number three is at the line for a free throw. And it was good. Number three, he's got another free throw at the line. And it is not good. Rebound by number 20. Tony's gonna pass up to 22. Back to 20. Back to 22. 22 is gonna drive in for the shot. And it is no good. Borden's ball. Long pass to 21. 21's gonna pass the three in the paint. 24 is gonna drive in, give it to 33, and put a basket in. Basket by Curtin. 22 with the ball here for the centers. He'll get knocked down. It will be centers ball though. It's like number four is coming in for 33 for the Senators. And number one is coming in or coming out for 15. We 22 with the ball here in the corner. We'll move out of the corner to pass number five to 20 to 15. Get 20 in the post. He'll make a move. He'll shoot the two. It'll be good. 24 is in. Rockets another one down the court. That is impressive on how he does that. Be 21. Puts up a shot and it's good for two. He did. He absolutely, he put that kid on the ground. 22 with the ball here. Trying to make something happen. Passing number five to 15 to 12 to 20. 20 with the three. It'll be no good. That'll be a foul and it is Borden's ball. Fouls on West Washington number five, Caden Zink. That's his first team start. 
I think Mason number twenty four might have something look on like his he may eyebrow. have a split open eyebrow. Maybe, maybe. maybe a little bit blood coming. It'll be Borden's ball. Maybe a little blood on his on his eyebrow. He did get hit in the eyebrow. Three's gonna bring it up the court. Pass to four. Pass to thirty-five. Back to three. Trying to make up their play here. 21 passes it to 35 to 11 to 4. 21 is going to pass it to 4. And 11 is going to drive in for the shot, and it's good. It's like number 22 got hit in the face. 22 has the ball here for the Sooners. Pass it 12. Back to five. Five will drive in. He'll shoot a layup. It'll be no good. That'll be Borden's ball. Foul on West Washington. Be on number 20 for the Sooners. Number three bringing this ball up to court. Pass to 35, to 22, back to four, back to 11, and he's gonna put it up, and it's no good, but we have the rebound. Oh, and he obviously didn't see. He passes it right to the Senators. 22 with the ball, he'll drive in, shoot a layup, and be good. Number four is gonna bring it up the court. Passes it to three. 22 passes it to four. Four is going to pass it to three. And three is going to drive in for the shot. Oh, pass back out. And 11 is going to shoot the three. And it is, it is good. Number 22 has it. Number 20 has it. To number five. Number 15, back to five, 22, 20, to 12, to five, back to 12, to 20. Trying to try to make a move, back to 12, back to 22, back to five, five will shoot the three. Be no good. That'll be out of bounds, it's Warden's ball. I guess I saw it wrong. It would be Senator's ball. 24 and 33 coming back into the game for Borden. Number 20 will be taken out for the Senators. Passes 15 to 20 to 15 to 20. Should they be good? Twenty-four is going to bring it up. Pass it to four. Pass it to three. He's going to go in the paint. Tempt a shot, but passes it. And then number thirty-three passes it or shoots it, and it's good. Number twenty-two has it for the Sooners. Pass it twenty to twenty-two to twelve to fifteen to twenty-two to fifteen to twelve. 24 has it, try to make a move, won't get it. 12, back out to for a three and he makes it. Three point basket by Rosenbaum. 24 is gonna bring this up. Oh, he's gonna drive in the paint immediately. And no fouls on that. Number 22 has it for the centers. Passing number 12, he'll shoot it, be no good. 33 is bringing up. Passes it. A little. Oh, oh, and we got it back. Be they fumbled that ball three or four times before they got the ball back. It'd be timeout. Brave. Brave 52. Sooners 31. We'll be back of this short commercial break. I don't think of this as a high school weight room, it's more like a high school classroom. 
I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. All right, we are back. Braves 52, Senators 31. 22 for the Senators, has it? He'll dribble around, try to find something to pass through. Finally, find 15, back to 22, 20. To want to try to make something happen. Gives it 22. It'll go out of bounds. Four will pass it in for 224. 24 will pass it up across the court to 22. And there's 35 passing to 33. Passing in the paint, back out of the paint. 24 drives it in for a basket, and it's good. Number 22 has it. To a three, to 22. He's gonna give it to 20. To 22. 22 is gonna dribble around, try to make something happen. Back to 20. Twins gonna kick it in the corner. The 15, he's gonna shoot, I mean three. He's gonna shoot three, and it's gonna be good. 24 is coming up with the court. Be a pass to 25, to 22. To 33, he's gonna pass it back to 22. Go in the paint with it, and 33 is gonna put it up. And it is no good. Number 20 has it for the Senators. Pass to 22 to three in the corner. He's gonna drive kick out to 23. I mean 22 to 15. 15 with the two will be good. Third quarter almost coming to an end here. 24 has it. 24 is gonna, gonna shoot, put it up, and that is good. It'll be three points. Be Braves 57, Senators 36. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive And we are back. Senator's ball. 22 for the Senator's has it. Well, number three passes it to 20. 
back to 20. Trying to try and make something happen. He looks, tries to get in 24, but he only gets it 22. To three, to 22. Number three will put that up for a three-pointer, and it is good. Number three for the, the the Braves coming up. Putting it up, number 33, and it was not good. 22 has it, the ball here, passes it to 15, to 22. To 20. To 22. 22, pass three, back to 22. Looks like he's trying to do something here with it. He's dribbling. Passes it 20. 20 with the three. He'll shoot it. It'll be good. Number three will pass it to four. Four passes to 21. 21 to 35. 35 to 11. 11 will pass it to 21. 21 back to three, back to 35, back to four. You know, I've noticed with the Braves, they pass so much more than most of the other teams yeah. before they shoot. 21 will put up a three. Three's got the rebound, and, and it is good for a two point. Number 20 has it, passes 24, back to 22, to three, 22. To 20. To 22. Three has it for the three. It'll be good. Thirty-five. He'll pass it in the between the legs of twenty-two in the paint. That was an impressive pass or a lucky one, either one. 35 and three, bring it around the outside. That'll pass it over to 11. 11 will fake the shot, send it over to the wing to 35. Back to three. 21 passes it to 11, fakes the shot, passes it to 35, puts up the shot and is no good. That'll be foul. Senators, Borden's ball. Be foul on number 22, Kenton Chase. His third, team's fifth. Twenty-one will be throwing this or passing this one in. Passes it in. Tries to go up for a layup, misses it. Number 22 for the Senators is going to drive in and misses the layup with a foul. Mason Carter, his second, team second. Number 22, Kenton Chase at the line, shooting two. Make his first one. And he'll miss his second one. Net violation on Braves, 11. So we got a line to shoot one more. Or he'll stay at the line to shoot one more. I got faith in him. He'll make this, the third one. Number three, number three and 25, and 35, my bad. Number 11's gonna put that one up for a three, and it's good. It'll be a charge, 22 with the charge there.
24 will pass that one into three. 24 is going to pass that one back to three after passing it back and forth. 21 is going to fake it, passes it to 24. Almost threw it away. 11 is going to throw it across the court to 21. Three is going to pass it into the paint to 24. Back out to 31. 11 is going to fake the shot, pass it to 31. Three, back to 31, back to three. 24, and he's going to put it up for a two, and it's good. 22 with the ball here. He'll sh three will shoot the three, won't be good. Get blocked, 15 got the rebound, get blocked. Get blocked again. Number 20 has it out of bounds for the Senators. He'll pass it to number 12, back to three. Three will shoot the three, be no good. 20 with the rebound. No. He, he can't block out when he was about two feet over everybody else's head. That'll pass to 21, to 31, back to 21, to 24, into the paint. Drives up under the basket, shoots the layup, and is good. Twenty-two has the ball here. He drives in. It looks like he'll get fouled. It'll be no shot. So they'll take it out of bounds here. Twelve has it. Knocks out the three. Back to twenty for the three. It'll be good. Number three is going to bring it up the court. 21 is going to put it up and miss. 22 has it, passes it to 12. To 22, trying to make a move on him. Can't do it. 20 has it, passes it to 12. It'll be, it looks like it'll be a push. It'll be a foul on number 24, Mason Jones. Twelve has it for the centers, passes it three to fifteen. The three, he's gonna cut, he's gonna go up for the two, it'll be no good. Number twenty one. It'll be a foul, foul. number, it looks like for the Senators, foul number three. Number three, Jackson Push. Cameron, his third, team seven. Number 21, Kaysen Nash, will be at the line shooting one and a bonus. Number 21's up to the line. For a free throw and a bonus, and the first one was good. If we make this free throw, it'll be up to a 25-point game, a 26-point game. Okay. And it's good. 22 has it for the Sooners. Pass the 12 back to 22. The three. He'll shoot the three. He'll miss. 25 is going to pass it to three. And Senators three is going to knock it out of bounds. Gonna get the ball. He's gonna pass it to three. Around to 33, back to three. To 21, he's gonna put up a three, and it's good. Three by Nash. Number 22, who have the ball for the Senators.
Pass to 20, 20, do a step back two, it'll be good. Basket by Heffler. And uh, yeah. 23, almost blocked. Carson, did you see what they did on that one? Time they called it timeout oh, time before time the out. shot. So be a timeout. I feel like Braves 71, Sinders is 54. We'll be back with this short commercial break. Hey, Indiana. Let's clear the air about vaping. Glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just a few of the chemicals you'll find in e-cigarette vapor. Let's clear the air, Indiana. Don't puff this stuff. Visit don'tpuffthisstuff.com to join the fight and spread the word. And we are back. Senator's ball. Or no, Borden's ball. I don't know what I was thinking. That'll be out of bounds on 35, Borden. Uh, our Salem cheer block has seemed to put a deer blind in the bleachers. 22 with the ball here. Pass it to three. Back to 20. To 22. He'll drive in and it looks like he'll get fouled. Be on 22, be his second. 24 Senators will be taken out of bounds. Pass it to three, back to 20. 20 with the three, be no good. 22 with the rebound. For the Braves, there'll be a foul called. Number 22, Kenton Chase, that's his fifth. 22 for the Braves will go to the line to shoot two. Puts up his first shot and is good. And the second shot is good. Our Salem cheer number, block has some mind of their own. Number 20 with the ball here for the Sooners. He's going to go for two. will be in and out. Stole by number three. Pass to 20 to 12 in the corner to 24. 24 will shoot the two and be good. Basket by Williams. It'll be 31 with the shove for the Braves. Sooners will take it out. Out of bounds, 20 will be taken out here. Pass to 12, to three, to 20. 20 trying to make something happen. He'll shoot the two, it'll be no good. 32 with the ball here. Getting double teamed. Pass to 35 to 22, we have 23 left on the clock. We gotta make something happen fast. 18. Passes 21 or 31. 32 was in the paint, but he didn't make anything happen. Guess we're running down the clock all the way. It's the fourth 30, quarter here, so. 32 with the ball. Oh. I'm about to turn it over there. I figured they'd at least shoot it. It'll be Boyden, Boyden Braves, 73. West Washington Senators, 56. We'll be back after this short commercial break. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. 
This is your IHSAA. Hi, I'm Matt Wolfer, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. All right, welcome back here to the uh, post-game report here. I got some stats, so I'm going to read them off. Number 20 with 26 points for West Washington. Number 12 with 3. Number 15 with 4 points. Number 1 with 2 points. Number 22 with 8 points. And 24 with 4 points. That's all for West Washington. Number 3 for Borden Braves with 3 points. Number 4 for the Braves with 6 points. Number 11 with 19. Number... No, hold on. Num yeah. Number 21 with 15. Number 22 with 2. And number and number 33 with 8. And number 35 with 3 points. Overall, Jacob, how do you think it, the game went? Uh, I think the second half went a whole lot better. Than, or the, yeah, the second half went a whole lot better than the first one. Although they didn't win. The Senators, that is. I think they're... Uh, their rebounds and their turnovers were a lot better yes. than their fouling. Yes, they were. Um, they didn't do. They didn't mess up in that aspect nearly as much. They could have fixed some things still. They could have shaped stuff up around the edges, but uh, yes. I still think both teams did very, very good in the second half. Yes, yes, they did. All right. Well, I think it was a physical game. Jump out from the start. Boy and Braves just came out on fire, and. Uh, you know, they didn't look back since. That 21, he was playing really good. And they really didn't look back since. And then Senators, they hit some threes at the end, but not enough to come back. Yeah. Once you get in such a deep hole, you can't, it's hard to climb out of it. Yes, it is. Well, well, is that all you got, Carson? That's all I got. We'll join you guys back for the Eastern and Salem matchup. 